Welcome to Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Philip Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to take a look at this game. It's called Ellie. It's um a game. It was actually provided by the company behind it. Let me move this up real quick. I want to make sure that you can hear the audio from the game. Okay. Anyway, it's just messing with this a bit. Ah, there we go. So anyways, checking my levels. Um, let's look at the options real quick. Blarblarblarb. Anyways, this is presented by this, um, it was given to us and we were supposed to review it and it's been a little while. So we're just doing a gaming paraphilia quick look at it. Yeah, we're going to delete all the previous data. We don't care. We well, actually do care. We were only about maybe an hour in the game. Not too bad. Anywho, um, let's take a look at this. On, on this day, Ellie, the guardian of the crystals of time, is celebrating her 600th birthday. The mischievous Gasty, however, has plans of her own. This is nice looking. Music's good. Art style's interesting. I awaken. I only turned 600 once. Yep. Just the way it is. I do like that she's got like a lot of sunflowers or whatnot. Then... Other character. Obviously the bad character. It's all like, I will steal your infinity gems. This is just high drama of all proportions. No, all reality is at stake. No. Get in a rowboat. Yeah. So this is a thing that's happening. It is really nice looking though. Um, actually, who's the name of the company that made this again? Let me check real quick. Band-Aid, Bandana Kid. I almost said Band-Aid Kid. Bandana Kid. Okay. Ooh. Jump. Makes kind of a N64 noise when she jumps. I'm guessing that those collectible things are important. Can I get on this wall? Yep. I bet I can. Actually, I bet there's other stuff I could be jumping on. Uh, can I jump up here? I can't. There's an invisible wall preventing me. Uh, that's no fun. Hey, invisible walls. Hmm. <laughs> Stepping on you. Jump up on... Nope. Come on. I want to get up on that invisible wall. Pretty 
happy music. Yep, it doesn't let you. Nah. I'll just give them all voices. Why can't I get on that? I need to get on those rocks. Can I drown? Let's see. Nope, invisible wall. Mm. Jump on you. Jump on this. Can I jump on that? Nope. I, I kind of can. But I can't. I don't like invisible walls too much. I won't be able to do things. I'm a murmur, the explorer and leader of the Mandragora. Mandragora. Are you trying to catch Guesty? <laughs> that little blighter? Oh my god, that's so mean. No wonder he's mean to you people. Without reclaiming the crystals, we are doomed. I wonder if Guesty even realizes the seriousness of the situation. Anyway, she was just here. Last I saw her following the trail of the blah blah, blah temple garden. And I will get my long journey. I'm sure we will meet again very soon. Goodbye for now. Actually, I'm going to start saying that when I leave. I'm going to be like, I'm going. I will now begin my long journey. I am sure we'll meet again very soon. Goodbye for now. Makes sense, right? Yeah, they will vanish in a puff of smoke. Awesome. I really want to travel more, like me, me, mo, me, me, mo. That's like what? Um, orange juice and vodka? Yeah. Orange juice and Everclear. Or Sunny D and rum, yum, yum. Oh wait, I can pick this up. I can throw it. Yes. I I will break all the things now. Can I break all the things? I want to break all the things. Let me break all the things. Can I pick this up? I want to pick it up. Can't pick that up. Eh, meh, eh. Thank you. Can I pick you up? I want to pick you up and throw you. Because that seems like a good idea to me. Right, that seems like the best idea. Hmm. Okay, I can get on these rocks, but I can't get on the other rocks, huh? Oh well. Deblo. Hello there, my traveling mother behind me has set up shops all over the island. Capitalism. Feel free to browse through the goods. Maybe there's something you like. <laughs> if you can afford it. It only co it won't cost much. Just your voice. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. I like how everyone's just like, I gotta go and they just poof and whatever. Oh, I'm gonna pick up your crap and I'm gonna throw it at you. Because I want money. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's pick up whatever these are. Can I pick these up? I can't. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. Boom. This is... Uh, I can't break anymore. Well, that's the temple I'm supposed to go to, but I don't really feel like that yet. I want to go collect money by breaking things. Because that's how, that's how the economy works in all these games, you know? It's like, oh, there's rocks. I'm going to pick up the rocks and there's money. You know, if you could find money under rocks, that would be... That would ruin the economy of any nation. Be like, all of our money can be found under rocks and by breaking pots and pans. Stop making pots and pans because people kept breaking them for money. Mm hmm. Oh, what's this? Can I get up there? I want that. And I want its money. Uh, I do like how this game looks. This is pretty. This is a pretty, pretty game. It's pretty. Hey, good job. Look at this. And those little Kodoma type creatures are like, eh, they're okay. But I think this is where I was supposed to go. If it wasn't, then how oh well? Loading! Oh, wait. Okay. Hmm. Okay, here we are. I guess that's a safe spot. Drew the Clever. Welcome to the Garden Trail, Guardian. The name is Drew. I must say, I'm not the biggest fan of Gasty. 
Everyone seems to bully Gassy for some reason. What's this master hole in the stairs? We seemingly cannot keep anything neat and tidy without troublemakers ruining all the fun. But there are more pressing matters, I surely believe. Oh, Guardian. I very much doubt Gassy knows how to keep control over the crystals. If she fails, there's risk of them tearing space and time apart. Oh boy, oh boy. Those are scary times indeed. Okay, here's the thing about these types of games, you know? And this is also an issue with, like, say, the Marvel Universe or whatnot. They're like, hey, here are these all-powerful stones that can destroy reality. Let's... Let, let's keep them where people can find them. Or, like, out in the open where they can be stolen. It's kind of like someone, I don't know, like, putting a shotgun like, right in the middle of school assembly and being like, gee, I hope no one grabs this. No. Nah. Anyways, I really hope you will succeed. On your journey before this day is over, otherwise I fear all our beloved universes are gone. Ah. Oh. Yes, what happens? You know, I... <sighs> Whatever. Follow the path and you'll reach the temple garden. I love how everything's kind of linear. No, 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 no. Shotgun Assembly would be a great name for a band. Yeah. <laughs> Listen up, Seattle. We are Shotgun Assembly. Jump. Mind your step. Yeah, I know. Boom. Oh, wait. Can I control the... Uh... No, I guess not. I can't jump up on these. No, I want to jump up on them. Ah, well. So this is kind of like it's um. I think it's trying to be like a puzzly Legend of Zelda E type game. I should have messed around with that store, but I didn't. I'm Glee, Elva. Later, the Mandragora. Did you see the summon stone back there? The one with the green ruins. Those magical stones are very handy if you want to turn off the system and continue playing at a later time. That is where you'll be summoned to when you press continue from the start menu and also where you'll be summoned to ruin our hearts. You may have noticed my gong playing friends on your way here like the fellow Mandraga before me. Those magical arms will punish your hearts. They also summon you if you happen to fall too far. Yeah, if you have a heart to spare. Goodbye. I love how everyone disappears. Actually, I, I, I kind of hope that they're not really disappearing. I kind of hope they're dying. Like, at, at the end of Infinity War, they're like, boom. Yeah, it's snapping, and they're like, Ah, oh, Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Ellie, I don't feel so good. That would be beautiful. I just want these little cre these little cute creatures to die. That's all I ask from my video games. Yes, I would just want cute creatures to die. Yeah, seems fair, right? I think it's more than fair. You're cute and adorable, therefore you must not live. It's the way of life. Yay. I do like the graphics in this game. Let's actually... Let's keep quiet for a moment and listen to his music. This is some, uh... Well... It makes me think of Fantasy Star, actually. Like, Fantasy Star Online, if you go to the ruins... Ooh, teleport, what? Ooh. Cute. I kinda dig that. Jump. 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 But I want to keep those. Oh, well. Hmm. 
kind of feel like there's uh, stuff I should be seeing. Oh yeah, this. Let's me view things. Whoops. There, there I am on the gong. The gong show. I'm not sure what that was for, but it's probably good. Oh yeah, I can't go over that. Can I go this way? Yes. Oh, more things to break. Yes. This is Ellie, Pot Breaking Simulator. Oh, before I go into that, I just want to, I do have to comment that, like, this art style is tremendous. I really like it. I do like when you're behind something, it, it shows you kind of like a little shadow where you're at. And there's like this whole weird little checkerboarding going on here. That's cool. I like the lighting, and I'm gonna go into the light. Ooh. Okay, I like this. This music. Ah, Temple Garden. Ooh. So this is sometimes on sale on the eShop. Anyways, welcome, well, hello again, Ellie. Welcome to Temple Garden. It was created many ages ago, but I'm afraid today that will be lost. Everyone's all like, hey, it's the end of the world. The crystals were stolen. We're all gonna die. So, uh, you know, eh, it's a thing. Okay. I, this this is the thing with um, games like this, you know? People are like, hey, the world's gonna end today. We're doomed. But before I actually help you, I kinda wanna have you do some stupid puzzle. Oh well, if it weren't for that, this wouldn't be a game. It's pretty though. Okay, I really like this background music. trail of dirt that she's pulling up here. Hold on, let's see here. Don't know what these buttons do. I guess this are uh, that's the ZR button by the way. Oh, I wonder if I need this. This one's green. Green like tree. Uh, yep. Oh, there's blue. Blue like ocean. How do I get red? Hmm. Wait, wait. Oh, this. That makes sense. Got red. Got them all. Up these, because those are obviously good for something. Probably for that store I didn't go to. Yeah. Bum -ba -bum -ba -dum. Let's go do this.
so blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow, red. Like it. Pretty simple though. Hi there! Wait, that seems to affect them. Am I hurting you? I hope that hurts you. Yes. I just kind of want to pick them up and throw them. Kind of like, I wish they'd give you the ability to like pet the dogs in uh, um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and also I'd like to be able to pick up a Korok and throw it. Please. I mean I would literally pay money as a DLC so I could pick up the Koroks and throw them. Be like, oh I've got that seed now. From you. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna pick you up and throw you off a mountain. Hmm. Also, to be able to pet the dogs would be nice. Just, just kind of like a stealth update. Be like, hey guys, here's a stealth update. You can now pet dogs. I'd be like, thank you. Oh, invisible things. So this kind of pinging thing actually works out kind of well, right? I can open that. But yeah, this is pleasant. I went up to that. I wonder how I get up there. Well, probably from here. Yep. Obviously. Obs. Obviously. Boop. Yes. Now what do I do? I get up there. Hmm, something. Oh. Maybe this way? This makes sense. Bralada. Some of my buddies are great wizards, not powerful all, but great nonetheless. And they can summon crates, very useful to put onto a button sometimes. Goodbye. Like, goodbye, Mr. Stark. I don't feel so good. Yeah. I know that joke's dead, but I also don't care. It occurs to me. Let's see, interact. Yes, put on a block. Thank you. That was useful. And now you must die, wizard. Die. This is just a fun, non violent game, to be perfectly honest. It like seems like it's perfectly appropriate for people who love puzzle games. And for children that love puzzle games, it's got a nice little friendly style. So if I haven't run into anything that's like, because sometimes when you see stuff with a cute art style, you kind of you're kind of like seeing they're waiting for the next um, shoe to drop, and I'm just like, this is gorgeous. Kind of like I expect certain games to have like just shoe drop moments. Then it doesn't. Yay. I don't know what you can buy. Wait, are these enemies? I am but the handy mechanic. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. I thought the other person was the ruler of the Mandragora. Do they just have, like, not... Um, maybe they have a parliamentary system, and these are all parliament. 
There's complaints about the heat in the temple. Uh, I've spent what feels like an eternity fixing all the ancient air vents on the island. Uh, fresh air is nice to be and it's able to be inside again. Blah, 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 blah. Beloved greasy hamlet, which we'll probably see. And then he nopes out. Because he's like, nope. I don't believe in this. Oh, wait. I want to throw that. Yes. So we're on a quest here. God, this looks great. This is an indie game, right? And I'm just like... This looks fantastic. This company did a great job with this art style. And just the way everything looks natural and the lighting is good. There's just a lot here I like. Yeah. Cause sometimes indie games can be a little hit or miss. This one seems to be mostly hit. Yeah. <sighs> so good. Oh, here's a loading screen. Simple, but effective. And I'm looking at this, I'm like, hmm, am I showing too much of the game? Oh, I wish I could grab you. I want to grab you and throw you off. I want to throw you off. Ah! Wait, that noise. I, that's beautiful. Beneath the Sun Temple. Ooh. Okay. Well, instead of going into Sun Temple, we're going to... Actually, if you're watching this still, hit that thumbs up. Hit that like button, share button, etc. Oh, uh, you're like, Hello, Ellie. You'll never catch me. I am the Guardian now. Eh. We're getting too close, so I have to make some precautions. Ancient air! Turn to fire! Gosh darn it. Huh. I like that dude. He's like, all just like, whatever. World's gonna end. Just sitting here on top of this thing. This is all I'm doing today. Ever wonder about that with like NPCs in these games or other creatures? Like, look what they do all day, and you're just like, what, what is wrong with you? Oh, no! Ah! Okay, so what I'm guessing here. Oh, I see. So, I gotta... Okay. Done. I'm so good at this. Yay. go back there. No, I'm gonna jump on this. Yay, jumping puzzles. Oh, that can break things now. Nice. You will all feel my anger. Okay, that did nothing. Wait, 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 wait. There's something over here I'm supposed to hit. Oh. I 
I see. Yeah, that happened. Wait, yeah, so I got that dude to put a thing there, right? Makes sense. Was I supposed to grab something from here to put on there? Hmm. So, jumping puzzles. I've made it past the flames. I am the best. Yep. Anyways, this is Ellie. It's a puzzle game. Puzzly platform game. I'm guessing that those are things that would hurt me. But I'm not gonna let them. Gah. I would say this game is pretty, yes. A little simple here and there, but okay. Oh, I smell a hat coin. Really? I don't care. Wait, can I get hats? I do like hats. Hats sound awesome. Oh, maybe the hat coin was elsewhere. I can't get back up to where I was. Wait, I could die. Go back to the gong. Seems good. Let's see what's past here. Hat coin. I don't know what those are used for, but they seem like I should be collecting them. So there we go. Anyways, this is Ellie. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that share button if you haven't already. Ring that little bell so you're notified whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. Until the next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.